Today's project was a real hoot to build, but don't worry, I'll keep the puns to a minimum. <laughs> this week's project is an owl bandsaw box. It's very easy to build and guaranteed not to ruffle any feathers. I'm using cherry for this project, but you can use any hardwood you'd like. And I'm taking a few passes on my joiner to remove material so these boards will fit into my bandsaw. And then I resaw these boards down to about an inch and one eighth. The blank for this bandsaw box is 12 by 6 inches and I used the cherry to measure the 3 quarter inch plywood that will go between the outer boards and I cut three of these plywood strips. Then I glued the blank up like a big wooden sandwich. Next it was all clamps on deck to hold this thing together. I think I used nine of them here and you can definitely never have enough clamps. And once everything is clamped up, you need to let this dry for at least four hours before you start cutting. And this is a good time to start working on the template. I made my own for this project. I started by folding a piece of paper in half and measured two and three quarter inches for the widest point of the body. This will ensure it fits on the six inch blank with room to spare. I traced the outline with a permanent marker while it was folded in half and this allows you to see your line through the paper and transfer it to the other side. You get a really symmetrical drawing this way. Next I drew the three drawers leaving at least a half inch of material between each drawer. And again draw it on half the paper so you can transfer it over to the other side and it remains symmetrical. And last I added the eyes and a beak. After that the template was done. Now you can attach the template to the blank with some spray adhesive and then get to cutting this out on the bandsaw. It's important to have a good blade for a project like this. I'm using a 3 16th skip tooth blade that is fairly new and I'll leave a link for the one that I use down below. Next I set the fence on my bandsaw to a half inch and cut off the back. Now I start cutting into the box to begin cutting out the three drawers. Just make sure to cut along the grain so your cut line will disappear when you glue this back together. Also it's important to have your bandsaw set up and tensioned properly to cut all these tight curves. Cut out the other two drawers the same way as the first and for these tight radius corners you want to twist the workpiece and push it through the blade both at the same time, but letting the saw do most of the work. Next I cut the front and back off all three drawers, and again I set the fence to a half inch here. Then I drew out the shape of the drawer that I will scoop out on the bandsaw. And I made sure to leave about 3 16ths of material for the sides and the drawer bottom. I repeated this for all three drawers and then cut them out on the bandsaw. Now the main body of the bandsaw box needs to be glued back together. I spread the workpiece apart to make sure the glue got all the way into the seam and then use this glue tool to spread all the glue evenly. I put the workpiece in the clamps, but I made sure not to apply too much pressure so that top seam didn't want to overlap itself. I assembled all three drawers by gluing the front and back back onto the drawer blanks and clamping them together. And last it's time to glue the back onto the main body of the bandsaw box. Once all the glue was dry, I took it over to the oscillating sander to sand away any glue and finish shaping the box and the drawers. There is a lot of sanding to be done on this project. I probably sanded the body and the drawers for at least three hours total. I also had to sand the top of the head by hand because it was too narrow for the orbital sander to fit in between the two ears. 
I used an eighth inch roundover bit to put a roundover on all the edges and also on the inside of the drawer voids. And once this was done, I could put a roundover on the actual drawers themselves. This is a potentially dangerous process right here, so just make sure you know what you're doing and always push the piece against the rotation of the blade. The best way I found to finish sanding and shaping this piece was to clamp my orbital sander into my vise and shape the round over that way. This gave me more control over the workpiece. I'm using this piece of scrap walnut to cut out the eyes and the beak and I cut a cylinder for the eyes and then sanded and shaped both ends on my orbital sander. Once I had both ends rounded over and shaped, I cut it off on the bandsaw and repeated this whole process again for the beak. And like I said earlier, this project requires lots of sanding. Lots and lots of sanding. Once this was done, I glued the eyes and the beak onto the top drawer. And when I glued the beak on, I allowed it to overhang and this essentially becomes the drawer pull. The next day I made the drawer pulls for the bottom drawers and I made these the same way I made the eyes. I cut out a shape, a cylinder on the bandsaw and then shaped this on my orbital sander and rounded over both sides. Then I could cut this one piece in half and then glue the two drawer slides onto the drawers. For the finish on this piece, I just used two coats of a natural Danish oil and then I followed this up with a coat of paste wax off camera. I taped off all the drawers and the drawer voids and then I could brush on the black adhesive and then finish shooting on the matching black flocking fibers. Just make sure to wear a respirator while you do this. You certainly don't want to breathe this stuff in. Hey everyone, thanks for checking this out. This was my first bandsaw box and I'm surprised how easy they are to build. If you build this project, just make sure to tag me in a picture on Instagram. Also, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this build. And go ahead and subscribe to keep up with everything going on at Johnny Builds. I put out new videos every week. Thanks again, and remember what Woodsy Owl says, give a hoot, don't pollute.